Hello YouTube, me here, Super one Just want to do another update in the 6x6 here, and I got myself a new camera. This is my old one. I had it for helmet cams. Uh, dropped it a bazillion times. Left out in the rain a couple times, accidentally. Um, just, it still works. Just barely works. They're at Walmart for $18, and you can't go wrong. They're a good camera to start with if you want to do quick videos and stuff with them. Got video, pictures. It's a, it's a cheap camera. It's ready to do little videos like this stuff right here. Working on the 6x6 here and um, welding this plate here. Still got to weld some more up. Got this top pulley here mounted with a couple screws. Ain't going nowhere. Get under here and show you my clutch setup. Uh, a little too bright and there it is very took me forever to figure out something like this this one's just just a push really push and pull or not a push and pull just a custom clutch really got a bar right there that goes from there to that and when you like push the clutch in, pushes the, or push the clutch in, and pushes it out, push it in, it goes in, or let it go, it goes in. Got to put a spring on it, so it'll be spring loaded. But this took forever to come with. I came up with tried to make like a double pulley, a pull system, like a whole bunch of crap, and it just takes. This is just very simple, but yet complicated. Got a six-inch pulley on the front. Like five and a half in the back. Those are four and a halves right there for the double pulleys. Then on the transmission, the top one over here. This is a top pulley here. That's a six inch. That goes to a 12 on the back. 12 on the back there. And on the front, for if you're ever doing a four wheel drive setup here, your best off is to use the same pulleys on the engine or transmission, whatever you're doing. Say I'm doing like I'd right here. Put four and a half on the front ones for like on the engine mounts and stuff. Go with a six inch on the back and always go with a smaller pulley on the front, just a little bit. I think this is like five and a half or something. You always want your front wheels turning a bit faster than your rear. That's so you have uh, easier steering and stuff like that. Um, it's sitting on all fours. Got it lifted up a good two, three inches. And do a little update on this thing. This is a Harbor Freight welder. Got it for $100 like two years ago. Still working. But one thing about these is you can't cheap out are these tips. Buy these tips. Just buy them. Because then if you try to keep using your old ones, they don't work. Like they get worn out and then you're not able to get the electricity to the wire and stuff. And I've tried to cheap out and do that. You can't cheap out and do that. So you just gotta get those tips. And this, this thing works. I've had it for two years, constant welding, and it hasn't failed me once, besides with the old tips. But anyway, got the transmissions in. I got a clutch, gotta put a spring on it. All I gotta do is get belts for this and this chain, and this thing's almost ready to go. Actually, I have a chain over here. Summers. I better have the chain on. Here, nope. Where's my chain? Somewhere. In my shelf goodies. To you know, be honest with you, I have no idea where it is at. We cleaned up a bit around here. Um, I'll find that later. Get a chain on there. I got the front belt. I got to get a rear belt. Double rear belt. Or rear rear belt. Front belt for four wheel drive. This thing's ready to go. Like, this is getting really close. You guys better keep watching out. This is going to be going real soon. I get the front tires, mount up the steering, the body. All I gotta really do is make a flatbed for the back. That's the next major thing for this. But pretty much, like, these transmissions aren't going anywhere. Only thing that could probably happen is if they break, and I hope that does not happen because it'll be really sad. Wire gotta go going.